Hey guys, welcome. Anna Brown Lahiri from Team Crushers. And we have Joaquin Neiman from Team Torque. He is the captain. And these were our two playoff champions alongside Dustin Johnson in Boston. It was pretty epic. So if you guys have any questions about. We're just lucky. <laughs> Mike, go ahead. Since you guys played so well in Boston, how does this course compare to the international? Does it suit your eye just as well, you think? Uh, I think it's very different. Um, obviously, uh, I think Boston was, there were a lot of holes that you could, you know, get after, lots of birdie holes, lots of opportunities to, you know, pick up a lot of shots. I think this golf course is a much harder test. Uh, uh, yes, I think the similarity is that it's a huge premium on driving accuracy, similar to Boston, but longer, uh, tougher green complexes for sure, smaller targets. Yeah, I think it's a great golf course. Uh, it's a big challenge. Uh, and another really good finish, I think. Uh, I really like the last three, four holes. You can see a lot of drama coming in. Yeah, I agree. I think there's a lot of holes during the round that you can have like a different decision of the tee where you can be aggressive with the driver, but there is a really small target to hit. But yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, this is a really exciting finish of the last few holes. So yeah, I think it's going to be a good challenge. One other question. How how many times have you guys watched the replay of the final round at all? I just watched DJ's pad on repeat. I wanted to see how far he jumped off the hole, but I didn't see any of the playoff. No. <laughs> yeah, I watched some of the highlights uh, uh, just when I, I had a few minutes because I was actually curious to see how it looked uh, you know, on TV. Uh, obviously, we were in the thick of it, but it, it was pretty, pretty amazing that last... Uh, 45 minutes before the playoff, I think, was so chaotic, so much yeah. going on. It was very exciting. Got a lot of messages from a lot of my friends and other people about how entertaining it was. Uh, and, yeah, I did I, I did see some of it later, and I said, yeah, that was uh, it was a lot to take in because there was so much going on. And, uh, yeah, I, unfortunately, I saw that playoff part a few times too. Hey, guys, over here, Shirag Patel with JWC Media and Hansa Medical. So I'm going to ask a medical question or kind of a little bit more about fitness and health uh, related. Now that you're on this tour, um, what do you guys talk about with your teams as far as uh, longevity because of the schedule? Are you guys excited about that? Can you elaborate a little bit about health and fitness and what you guys are doing currently? Yeah, for me, obviously now that you have a, a accurate schedule where you know where you're going to play during the year, I was, I was, I was able to build like a nice schedule during my weeks off and my weeks during the tournament and find a way obviously now it's three days we all play in the afternoon I was normally uh, work out when I have like an early tea time try to work out after so I gotta change a little bit my fitness uh, uh, times where I have to maybe work out before of the tournament but yeah I've been loving it and I think you you plan better for, for the week of the tournament where you have more energy, the body feels better, and I think, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty good. For, it's, it's been feeling good for the last week, obviously. Yeah, I think also in the long run, you know, the off-season, everybody, everybody keeps talking about the off-season. Now you can actually have more than four weeks or five weeks off. Uh, you know, traditionally, even when you had a month, month and a half off, you would take some time out with a family or friends and you know, take a holiday and you're not really going to be working. At least I'm not going to be working out on my holiday. But the thing is, you know, now we have enough time where I can actually sit down with my trainer, work on a, you know, program with my body, sit down with the rest of the team, uh, you know, sort out some other specific aspects or if I want to go into a fasting protocol or if I want to do something else, you know, this. you have the time and you have, like Joaquin said, you have the schedule in front of you. Uh, so in the long run, I think, yes, you can do a lot more work, a lot more, you can gain a lot more in between seasons just because you have the luxury of time, which traditionally you didn't have. Thank you, guys. Hi, fellas. I'm John Kyleman with the Chicago Tribune. Um, quick question about uh, the continuing concern over the funding of this Gulf Series coming from the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia. The senior, excuse me, senator of Illinois just tweeted a few hours ago that this event is using a golf glove to cover a bloody hand. What is your response to the continuing criticism that the players in this series are participating in sports washing? 
See, we are all just here to play golf. I think uh, what has happened over the last few weeks, what people have witnessed in terms of the golf speaks for itself. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to comment on anything political. Everybody is obviously entitled to their opinion. Uh, I have mine, but I don't think it's relevant. Uh, my golf is relevant. What we do with our actions for the community here are relevant. And those are all visible. And I think that's what people need to see. And that's what people need to focus on because there's a lot of good happening, but no one's talking about it. I agree. Yeah, there's a lot of good things going on. And like you say, I mean, I'm also here for have a good performance on the golf course and, and see how, how we can grow the game in a, in a good way. And doing this team format, I mean, it is, it's getting so excited and I've been loving it. Joaquin, I want to go back to the point where you made the decision to come over here after having some success on the other tour. What were some of the pros and cons and concerns that you had? And now that you've experienced it, how have they been answered for you? Yeah, it's been, once I got here, I, I realized it was the best decision I could have made. Uh, everybody here is is talking about the team format that I that I always grew up playing. When I was in Chile, my junior career, I always played team events, and it was something that re really drives me into be a, a better person, a better golfer, and push push the limits on the golf course. So I, I've, I've been feeling great. Uh, how I wanted to improve every day. So, I mean, yeah, the team format was one of the biggest things that motivates me and drives me now to take the decision. Hi, can I ask both of you, uh, you know, the kind of reaction that you get over here and uh, it's quite different from, I'm sure, especially for Ban, what you're getting from India and back home. Can you just talk about that? How was the reaction from all your friends and other people when you finish second and also for walking i mean like how how are people in chile reacting to your decision and your play so yeah obviously you know i think the perception back home is very different uh people are looking at the golf people are looking at the opportunity people are excited uh, about having one of their own uh you know playing here playing at this stage uh people are excited about you know live going to asia in what three four weeks time i have at least 20 people that i know of who are flying to bangkok uh just from the people i know uh and that's just india i'm sure people are flying over from singapore and malaysia and everywhere because golf is huge in asia so people are viewing this as you know something that could be the lifeline for them going forward not just with what they're doing with the asian tour uh but just the fact that they're going to get to see some of the players that they would like to see uh, because I think everyone gets showed, uh, and everybody's looking at golf shots, and people are loving the broadcast, and all of it is just overwhelmingly positive, um, and people are excited. Um, so yeah, I mean it's been it's been fantastic. I've been um, I've, I'm very happy uh, and very um, lucky, you know, to have so many people uh, so positive about everything that's going on. Yeah, the same. It was at the beginning, obviously. Only I care about it was taking the decision, knowing that I was going to be happy and my family. Obviously, all the media, they pointed as how they wanted it to point it. They make it look bad. But in Chile, they didn't know much about leave. Now they're now that they watch me in, in last week, they're really excited of how things could go in the future with the team aspect also. And yeah, now everybody in Chile is loving it and now they're able to watch me <laughs> more during the round instead of how they were used to before. So that, in that way, yeah, they're really happy. And Ban, can I ask you also, the Iron Heads, which is you comprise of all Asian Tour players, uh, Captain Becky and uh, uh, they did really well last week. I mean, the, if I don't know if you managed to have a look at the leaderboard at one stage, with nine looking. holes to go, they were five ahead finished outside the podium though what are your thoughts on those three players and and any of the asian tour players given your own history of playing in asia what does this tour do for them uh, it didn't surprise me one bit i think if you look at the quality of golf uh you know some of these uh players specifically who are playing for iron heads are they're not household names in america 
But if you look at their record, you look at their scoring average, you look at how they played in the Open Championship, for example, or some of the other bigger, large, you know, global events, their performance speaks for themselves. And obviously, I don't need to talk about the potential of the talent in Asia. It is incredible. It's huge. Uh, you know, there are so many, so many stars that have come from that channel. So many people who've made their future and made it big in golf coming from there. So it doesn't surprise me. I think, uh, you know, the more they play at this stage, the more they see their names on top of the leaderboard and, and the more comfortable they get, I think their performance is only going to get better. And I think it's a great testament and, and vindication of the quality of golf that exists in Asia. And I think it can only get better. So, uh, you know, for me, it makes me smile. Uh, but I smile more when we finished ahead. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's why team golf is so much fun. You know, so much can happen. Like I said, it, it was, I think Boston was a great, uh, like I said, testament to what Live is all about. And I think the more uh, golf action we have like that going forward, the more people are going to recognize that this is just a different product. And, and, you know, no one's asking you to like it. Just watch. I'm pretty sure you will. I have a question over to you, right? How much did it factor into your calculation when you made the decision to join Live? What, what it would do to the sport back in your respective homes? Um, and, and what do you think it can do? What do you think your presence in, on the, this tour could mean for golf back home? Want to go first? Yeah, no. yeah I mean, I, I know <laughs> for a fact, I know for a fact that you know, people back home are excited basically because they can see me play golf. There have been many, many, many occasions where I've played well and they've got to see practically nothing of me. Uh, but on this platform, everybody is pretty much, uh, you know, a spotlight. Everybody has a spotlight on them. Doesn't matter if you're making a 40-footer. Like, normally you watch a golf broadcast and, and oh, here we have so-and-so, and you know it's going in from 150 yards. <laughs> Because that's the only golf you ever see, right? If I don't hold out from 150 yards, I'm not going to get the three seconds on TV. That doesn't happen here. You it was know? easy to guess on TV when yeah, that part right. was this going part's in. going in. You want to take a bet? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, so for one thing, and, and that was the biggest feedback I got, is like, we actually got to see you play. Uh, and I'm sure it's the same for every player in the field. Of course, I played well, so they got to see me a little bit more. But even if I'm, you know, middle of the field, this, you're still going to see me hit a few shots. You still get a narrative because you follow my team. So yeah. my team also is Four something players. that my, you know, my fans or other people who are following me will also follow because it affects me. And that's where the team aspect also builds the fan base. So I think the whole dynamic works really well, especially in countries where golf is still growing. People are still trying to educate themselves with the sport. People are trying to get interested and get involved. This platform, I think, does a lot more engagement uh, than what has existed before. Yeah, I'm the same. I mean, I think, like I just said before, they, they're able to watch me a lot more on TV. Uh, there's always the same guys that they show on TV normally, and now being part of a, a team where there are four players and they're the best three positions on the leaderboard, and you want to see all the four guys uh, playing, they're going to show everybody at the same time on the team. So I think it's really cool, and yeah, all my friends, family, like I, can, I, I was able to see the reaction that they have over the live tour the first time they watched me because they never watched it before, so it was, it was cool. What could that do for the game and the growth of the game, do you think, looking down the road? The teams? The, just the more the more eyeballs, people watching you, getting excited. Yeah, I mean, just creating new fans. I mean, once we get engaged into, into the name of our team, you know, we get all dressed together, you know, using the same colors. I mean, that would create a, a great... Fantasy, great fan, uh, fan following. Fan following for the people outside, and it's, it's going to bring more people and more younger people into into the game of golf. I think it's just about creating more golfers. Uh, if, basically, if you narrow it down, growth of the game is just that. You want to create more golfers. You want to create more people who watch golf or are interested in golf. Uh, more people who are buying into the sport in any which way. And, and this is exactly what it does because the outreach is different. Outreach is more global. People in uh, lesser markets, so to speak, are now interested because they have something that they can relate to, something that they can uh, call their own. And I, and I think that's, that's the big difference. And I think that's what franchises and teams do. Uh, and I was talking today uh, you know, to, to Paul Casey about it. It's the same, like all of Bryson's fans 
are going to watch me. All of my fans are also going to watch Paul. And it, it transcends. It's not just I'm only following my guy. It doesn't work that way anymore. And that also creates, you know, the interleaving. And so it's growth. It's growth in many different ways. Yes, hi. Um, Christian, the, for a golf weekend, uh, I'm going to ask in, uh, in Spanish to Joaquin. Um, Spanish, no. Um, no habla español, sorry. Un poquito. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Joaquin, bueno, eh, yo creo que la prueba de fuego del primer torneo la semana pasada fue más que... Fue, fue tremenda, nadie, nadie esperaba... Un, un final de esa manera eh, en Chile estuvieron siguiéndolo eh, minuto a minuto especialmente uh -huh. en el playoff eh, ¿qué se siente llegar a Leaf y hacer historia, jugar en el primer playoff uh -huh. de Leaf y eh, representar, como muchos chilenos dijeron, representar a Chile de tan buena manera en Leaf Golf y la segunda pregunta, nosotros en Chile este fin de semana vivimos un fin de semana bastante importante. Sí. Eh, celebramos nuestro Día de Independencia. Eh, ¿Alguna sorpresa que podamos eh, tenerle a, a los chilenos esta, en, en este torneo? Sí, o sea, no era como que la gente no se esperaba que quizás yo ganara o no. O sea, obviamente yo voy a cada torneo tratando de poder ganar. Y se, quizás se me enredó un poco en, en los últimos hoyos. Sabía que pude haber ganado el torneo, pero... Pero fue una semana especial poder inaugurar el Leap Tour de, de esa manera y, y poder ver poder meter a, a todos los chilenos a ver que, le, que les guste o que lo disfruten de verme jugar y pelear el torneo. Y sí, esta semana es un fin de semana especial. El, el domingo va a ser 18 de septiembre. No va a poder a celebrarlo con un asado, quizás sí en la noche. Así que esperemos poder ganar y celebrarlo de buena manera con, con todo el país. Guys, we have time for one more. Go for it. Thanks. Um, for both of you, um, just what are your thoughts about not playing in the President's Cup next week, and how much are you going to miss it? Uh, definitely going to miss it. You know, it's been it's close to my heart. I've uh, been on two teams. Very proud to have been a part of them, um, and they were very very special weeks for me. Uh, you know, I'll be I'll be supporting the international team uh, wholeheartedly this next week, and. I hope our boys go out there and, and you know, put in a big effort and, and uh, you know, uh, play play really good. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's something that I care about deeply, and it's unfortunate uh, how things are, but, you know, I wish them the best. Yeah, it's the same. It's sad not to be on that team. is something, one of the goals, obviously, that you have a, as an international player True. to be in the President's Cup where the best international players are on that team. And yeah, it's sad to see it, but obviously I'm going to be supporting the international team. I got a lot of friends there and a lot of professional golfers that we share a lot, a lot during the year, during the season. So yeah, I'm going to be supporting them and hopefully they beat the Americans. <laughs> Thanks. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good luck this week. We have Bryson DeChambeau coming back in about 20 minutes, so we'll be back. <laughs>